are these two elements isotopes? Well, right away, just kind of gave away, no, they're not, this is false. Because in order for them to be isotopes, you have to have the same element. Titanium and, and chromium are different. Titanium is atomic number 22, chromium is atomic number 24. Yes, they have the same atomic weight, but that doesn't make an isotope. An isotope is same atomic number, different atomic weights. So that's false. They do have the same mass number, the same you know atomic weight. I guess probably better to call that mass number because it's the rounded version. It's 50 and 50. So that is true, but this is going to be false true. So therefore, for 50, we're going to get D. When the valve in the system shown above is opened and the system is allowed to reach equilibrium, most of the helium remains in the bulb on the left. So when you open this up, by diffusion, the HE is going to travel over here, the H2 is going to travel over here, and you're going to get a constant or a, um, a, 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 what's the word? Not a constant, but a, an evenly distributed, an evenly mixed helium and hydrogen throughout that entire, uh, this higher system. So you'll have just as much helium on the left as you will on the right when everything gets to equilibrium, when everything diffuses and everything is homogeneously uh, distributed. So that is false. When the two bulbs are connected, the randomness of the system decreases. No, that's false as well, because when these mix, that mixing actually increases the randomness and increases the disorder and increases the entropy when you have that mixture. I mean, think about it. If I have all my HE here and all my H2 over here, that's a pretty well organized system. Yeah, there's some disorder and chaos and randomness in the, in the movements of those molecules. But on a macro level, you've kind of organized all of your helium in one side and all your hydrogen on the other. And so if you mix those together, you're making that system more disordered, more chaotic, more random. And so that means the randomness would increase, not decrease. So that should be false. And therefore, 51 is E. The first ionization energy of Li is less than that of Na. So you need to know your trends for ionization energy here. Ionization energy decreases down a group. So therefore, Li's ionization energy would actually be greater than sodium's uh, ionization energy based on that trend. So 52D is false. All right, 52 is false, sorry. Li is smaller than Na. Now again, you need to know your trends for radius the radius of an atom increases down a group. So therefore, Li would indeed be smaller than sodium based on that trend. And so that would also be, uh, that this would be true. And so overall, the answer to this would be D. So definitely want to know your trends in terms of how do elements uh, change across a period and down a group in terms of their ionization energy, in terms of their radius and their electronegativity.